Soon soon everyone, welcome back to Mnix Plays Path of Exile Legacy League. Uh, we have been making pretty pro good progress with regards to our maps. Um, last time we even completed the vault, so I'm sitting at 62 objectives completed. Now I'm not too sure if I'll be able to do any other objectives just yet, not until we get to at least level 80 something. Um, we're still at 74, which is pretty low. It's around this level where I'm like, you know what, I think I'm more comfortable doing tier 4, tier 5 maps. Like these graveyard maps, they're like pretty perfect for me. And I'll run them blue. Um, two bosses, that's okay. Legacy stones, what are the challenges that, are, that we really would like to do? I would love to get an echoing shrine. I would love to get that. Um, same with rogue exiles. I think I should still focus on that. And then Invasion is probably the next thing. So Invasion, Domination, Anarchy. Those are probably the big ones I want to focus on. Uh, so I currently have an Invasion. Anarchy. Anarchy. And Domination. Okay. So once again, we'll be focusing on those today. Beyond Mysterious the Invaders. Eagles cry. So between episodes, I went out and got some more equipment. Um, so over here, I got some new gloves. It's 216 energy shield. And it has a little bit of resistances and some mana. That's basically all I need. So now, you know, we're, we're pretty good in terms of gear. Uh, we have 200 ES on our gloves, 740, 739 on our chest. And it's 5 linked, and we have all... Oh, this one has 219 as well on the boots. Um, all that's left to do is the helmet. So we need to switch out the helmet for something that has around 300 ES or something like that. 200, 200, 300 ES. And then maybe the belt as well. Um, if we can get something close to, I would say, 80 ES. And then we have to do the jewelry. So I'm doing it a little bit at a time. And honestly, it isn't hurting me too much. Uh, 2900 HP, 3100 ES. Chaos damage is still really scary. Um, but uh, other than that, I mean, it's it's going pretty well, I think. Well enough to, to the point where I'm thinking, you, you know, maybe it's time to drop uh, clarity for purity. Is that a smart thing to do? I'm not sure. But I'm going to do it anyways. Um, so purity gives us a lot of resistances. Look, 200, 200, 200. And the idea is... Now my summon... Uh, or now my animated weapons actually have some resistance now. I'm hoping this will work. I'm not too sure. Um, but let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Uh, so let's run this map. So I have, I definitely have less mana regen now. Like how much do I have? 44.6. That's still pretty good, I think. I can't imagine I would need that much mana, especially since the only thing I'm casting is Wither. Right? Can I sustain Wither? I can pretty much sustain Wither, so I'm not too worried. I think we're good. Okay, let's summon these ranged weapons and then, uh, and just let's go. So once again, I'll summon a couple zombies just to act as a, as a buffer. And honestly, we're getting you know EXP pretty quickly. Kristoff, hello Mnix, I hope you had a good day. I have a level 67 EK Nova that is slowly catching up to my level. Okay, nice. I actually wouldn't mind, you know, uh, playing some maps together. The problem with this character, uh, I don't know if it'll matter. But since this is an auto summon character, it needs to get the kill in order auto summon weapons. So if it can't get the last kill, this character becomes pretty useless. It just becomes good at killing like or summoning range weapons, but it can't summon any um, melee weapons, which is very sad. Hopefully it'll be fine. I'm I'm looking forward to you know partying up with some of you guys and uh, playing a little bit. We'll give it a try though, I wouldn't mind. I think it'll work, I think. Okay, now I, let's take this. Guess it's more of a solo character then. 
So I tried it with a buddy, and he was level like 90, 91, so maybe he just had way too much DPS. Which was causing me to have problems summoning up the items. Um, we'll see. I think it'll work. Otherwise, if you go through it fast enough and we just I just like pick up all the ranged weapons and summon them, summon them, I don't think it's that bad. Wait. No wonder it feels so weird. I haven't been using Jorhas Black Steel. Oh my god. How am I still alive? I was like, yo, we're doing very little damage and nothing's auto summoning. Well, of course nothing's auto summoning. I'm still on my like I'm weapon swapped. Guys, it's... I just finished work, okay? I'm not ready for this. Do I have a ranged weapon available? Oh god. This is gonna be awful for a bit. Because I was an idiot. Okay, I have like one ranged weapon. I need to kill some stuff. Okay, I see things are being auto-summoned. This is good. This is what I need. Okay, I can kind of tell that mana region isn't the best. And it's not the worst either, though. Okay, I think I'm good now. It, it kind of feels like playing a... Uh, like a feed, it's like a feedback loop, you know? Like a hardbound loop kind of thing, where... Be right back in 10, gotta go for Liquid Courage at the market. Sounds good. See you in a bit, John. But, you know, like, we have to clear quickly and we have to have, like, a lot of weapons available. Um, and that way, we maintain a high damage. Which therefore allows us to easily kill things with poison, um, which then leads to more weapons being summoned. Like, there's a loop here, you know? Prophecy complete. Ooh! Let's take all the jewelry. Take the wand, the boot, the belt. And that's about it, I think. There's a bow here. I can ID it. And run it. Okay. Let's keep going. But still, things are going extremely well. And at this point, I'm really not worried about much at all. Obviously, once we get into the late game, damage is always like a concern. Um, but I'll open for the best here. So far, so good. Echoing Shrine? Brutal Shrine. Fuck. So apparently... Um, apparently the Raptors game is actually today, not yesterday. And I am a fool. I wasn't checking the schedule. So once again, at 7 o'clock, the game starts. And I kind of want to watch it. But, uh, maybe I'll stream till 7.30 today. It'll be a short one-hour stream, two episodes. Um, and then I'll go watch the game. With regards to, the, like, this build, I'm wondering... I'm wondering if I'm on pace for the 24 challenges. I'm not too sure. I can't really figure it out. Um... It, it feels like, you know, like, just looking at the clear speed, I'm like, we're doing great. But then... Mm, you think about... Oh, hello. Okay, so we can do that after. But then you think about it, it's like, well, some of these challenges are extremely RNG-based. Who knows how we're going to do, right? I need more mana. So, it's hard to say. Oh, this guy... Curse-resistant? No problem. Deep in dream holds the key to another world. 
League ends 3rd of June. It's getting sketchy. Yeah, I have a month left. I don't even think it ends June 3rd. I think it ends, like... Like, maybe on the 20-something? That's my guess. In which case, it's very sketchy. Um, let's go back. How are your maps? But then again... I mean, we've we've had worse, right? Like that's the only that's the only thing I can say about this is like we've done worse. Stay sane. Um, Learn anything new. So I I think we can do it. It's just gonna take some effort. Some straight deja vu right there, right? May your maps be merciful. No, I think we have a chance. I honestly do. Um, is it going to take a huge push? Not necessarily. That's what I'm thinking. I'm, ju I'm just trying to figure it out. Like, I'm timing it out. We're playing, like, two hours a day or something like that. Um, but then the clear speed is a lot higher on this build compared to the other one. So just based on that, it means I'm going to be doing a lot more maps. So... Echo Lick. Ooh, this one has elemental weakness. Okay, so this is what I've been waiting for, you know? Elemental weakness, and I'm still at 75%, and it's pretty close. Have you got the res vendor recipe challenge, etc.? I'll show you after the map. Not all of them. Like, I haven't done the master crafting one. So there are a couple easy ones that I haven't done yet. I haven't killed Malachi. Uh, I haven't... What what else haven't I done? Uh, Mastercraft these items. Touch the shrines. Rogue exile. Veil bosses. Okay, so this one's doable. One, two, three, four. Essences, it's doable. Five. Unique invaders is doable. Six. Paranda's chest, I guess it's doable. Seven. Okay, so that's seven challenges that's doable if I just farm. And that brings me up to 24. I think... I think there are still some easy ones left. I, th I think 24 is doable. Like, the more I look at it... Uh, but they're all RNG-based, right? So that's the only thing that's like... Eh, a little sketchy. But that's why I'm like, I'm, I'm not gonna let, I'm not gonna delete the character if it dies. Otherwise, it's over. Um, but at the same time, like, that's. We've been playing so much hardcore that being able to keep a character around for a while is kind of a nice breath of fresh air, you know? Um, in a way, that basically means that. Uh, we can see how how far we can take this character into the late game. And even if it dies, it's like, well, you know, we'll try again. Like, this will be my practice character, I think, for a lot of the different uh, endgame stuff. Because I haven't done a Ciri ever. I've never done the Guardians. I've never done the Shaper. Like, a lot of late game content, I've just never touched. So this might be a good chance for me to play around with all that stuff. Um, you know, besides doing... Uh, all the all the challenges and whatnot. So it might be a good you know a, a good idea to try and get this character up to you know level eighty something, level ninety, um, and just see and, and practice the late game content. Like I don't know any of the boss animations. I don't know what to expect. Never even went into a Siri map, right? So oh my god, all my weapons are gone. Oh, the chaos damage is still pretty scary. And I can see how uh, the clarity would really help right now. What if I just... I don't have the slots for another clarity, huh? That's disappointing. I have a minute 40 to finish this quest. 
I should go find those bosses. I'm being a little too slow. Okay, let's start running. Run, 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 run. When I'm ready and not before. For a build that's supposed to be about the clear speed, I'm not very, I'm not clearing very fast. I've got to say. Uh, boss room. Should be over here. How you doing, Lestat? How you doing? It's nice that I get to see you every day, actually. You're one of the few ones to stick around. <laughs> oh, I guess there's Sean. He's around as well. Die hard. <laughs> Thank you, man. I, I appreciate it. I really do. Where the heck is the boss? I have 20 seconds for this Xana mission? Oh, go. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Crunch time. Crunch time, boys. 10 seconds. 9 seconds. Kill it. 5 seconds. Round 1. Oh, no. <laughs> Crap. It was right there for the taking. Oh, I goofed. Mission failed. Oops. Have a little cold. Oh, that sucks, dude. Oh man, I kind of messed that one up, huh? Okay, well, I deserved it. There's no way around it. As long as I don't have a job, I, I can stay up and watch. As long as I don't have a job, I can stay up and watch. Does that mean you're like a freelance worker? Well, Xana, I tried. I tried my best. I'm sorry. Need a map? Okay, let's sell all this stuff. This is actually... No, it's not. I was gonna say, this is actually okay to sell, but I don't think it is. Stay sane. The teleporter boss is the worst for time mission. Yo, I was like so confident that we had it. I don't, my train of thought going into it is like, I, I shouldn't need to worry. Like this is, this build is designed to clear quickly and to kill bosses quickly too. Which it did in a way. However, it killed the mirror very quickly and uh, I didn't have enough time for the other one. Ah, uh, I don't really want to remove faster casting, but I want my clarity. You know what? It's unfortunate, but I have to keep clarity. I'm so gem starved. Okay, so I'm going to use clarity. When I'm ready. And only when I run into... Um, Elemental Weakness Map will I actually consider... Going, uh, going purity. Otherwise, I really don't need it, I suppose. Rogue Exiles, Poison on Hit. Okay. I am unemployed, living from other people's taxes. Well, that's one way to do it. Two Rogue Exiles, Poison on Hit. I don't have all... Oh, I do. I don't have all the prophecies, though. So there you are. The Plague Wars followers feed on the... They flee from the eyes of Aurea, coated in gold from head to toe. That's okay, Lestat, unless it's your absolute absolute goal in life. Honestly, my goal in life is to do nothing. Like if I if I if I'm gonna be real with you, I think a lot of people it's like Like I have to work because I have to make money. And it's like it's not it's not bad, it's fun, you know? 
But at the same time... Oh shit, that's a Royal Excel. If I could, I would like to be unemployed. And yet still be able to make a living, you know? Like, that sounds a little... I wouldn't say selfish. Sounds a little no-lifey. But that's just how it is, you know? I think a lot of people... Well, I know there are some people out there, it's like, I wanna... I, I know I have some friends who are very... Um, very gung-ho about things. You know, they're like, I, I want to make a change in the world that's actually you know one of my passions in life blah 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 and like honestly good for you right and, and i don't mean that sarcastically like really really uh, that's really good if that's your passion but for me i'm like yo if it's possible to like not do anything and yet be able to have everything obviously that's not attainable or is it i guess you could be like a trust fund baby but you get the idea Goodbye. Build a net that will make you a millionaire? Yo, I used to dream about that. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna build an app. Make a startup. And then, uh, there you go. I'm done. And then I started doing it, and I'm like, yo, I don't... I actually hate my app. <laughs> I forgot what I built. It was nothing crazy. But I mean, that's like, that's the modern entrepreneur, right? That's why Silicon Valley is so big. A lot of people are just like, you know what? I'm going to think of an idea. I'm going to build an app. And then I'm going to, you know, start my business. And it's going to be awesome. Oh my god, do you guys hear that? It was warm and sunny literally 40 minutes ago. And now, this, it, it looks like the world is ending. Uh, it's like thunderstorming. What happened? What happened to my perfect day? But you know what? Like there are some... Like some people have that dream, but they don't have like... That uh... I wouldn't say entrepreneurial spirit, but... They just don't have like the right ideas, you know? Like, some people build, like, really stupid apps, is what I'm trying to get at. There's, like, an app for everything. I bet if there was, like... Like, oh, I wonder... I wonder how many, like... How, how many swipes I should... Or how many times I should wipe my butt after going to the toilet. Like, I, I bet there's an app for that shit. Like, it'll make a random generator. Right? Right? And it's like it'll it'll be like how long have you been in the toilet for, and and then it'll ask you like like how long have you uh, like how much do you weigh, yo, yo app idea right here okay how much do you weigh, and then it'll be like uh like how much did you eat today, and it's like okay based on how much you ate how much you weighed, uh and uh, how long you've been sitting in the toilet for we're gonna guess that you know like this many grams of poop came out of you and therefore like. We're, we calculate that you have to wipe your butt five times. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be surprised if people made that shit. But it's like, like where's the business strategy in that? You know, all you need, you need ideas, skill, and most important, a lot of luck. Oh yeah. But the way you do it is important too. Like some people are like, you know, I'd like to have an app that tells me how to wipe my butt. But it's like, uh, I don't know, man. But, you know, I, I know some people who, you know, started their own startups and they're doing well. They really are. Too much so, I mean, if that's if that's your dream, like, go, like, go for it. It's it's proven to be successful. John says, I'm working on something that could be good. I think, you know, when people build shared playlists in a party on YouTube or Spotify, I want to build an app that will allow people to rank other based on their chosen song, and if their rank is high, their song will play faster. 
Ah, interesting. That ranking algorithm will be very important. Too much clutter. But other than that, no, that sounds like a good idea. Honestly, a lot of it is like just the act of building the app. It's 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 a fun process, I would say. Okay, let's get some more zombies. I want some more meat tanks. Okay, it says there's 21 monsters remaining, but honestly, when I'm ready and not before. First of all, I don't care anymore. Cuz I just ran a full circle. And I just can't find them, man. Whatever. I hear a hint of steel in Mnix's voice, Kappa. Shh. You hear nothing. In a long lost dream, one deadly foe becomes two. But then, how do you mess with the YouTube or Spotify API to modify the playlist? Yes. Uh, it's not available. If not, it's not much you can do. Yes. What is it? Actually, you probably can. I don't know. They have to allow it? Yeah, basically. But those challenges are really fun, you know? Those are the aspects of programming that I, you know, really do enjoy. What I have realized, though, when it comes to programming especially, is like, you know how a lot of people are like, oh, once I get out of school... Hmm, is this any good? Maybe I'll just keep it. Well, once I get out of school, things are going to be different, you know? Like, the work is going to be more meaningful, it's not going to be so mundane like this. And then you get out of school, you start working and programming, and you're like, dude, literally every week, every week is like just doing some kind of assignment. Like, you know how you had homework in CS class and computer science class? Fucking work is just homework every day. Like, some industries, you, you know, once you get out of school and you start working, you know, like, you're, you you did business and, uh, or you studied business in, in as an undergrad and then you come out and, like, now you're doing marketing or you're doing whatever, right? But in programming, it's like, okay, so I was programming and they wanted me to design, like, you know, this little calculator application at school. Uh, it was kind of dumb, but I did it anyways. And then you come to work and they're like, you know, it's like, so what's my test? They're like, well, we're looking for like this calculator application for taxes. And you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's like the same shit. Fire damage, projectile damage. Yo, this is a pretty good double dip. Like. Plus two mana for each enemy hit by your attacks and 14% evasion rating. I honestly think this is a pretty good jewel. I should try and sell this thing. I should think about... Okay, where, where can I put this? Um, let's put it in backups. Most jobs you can do the, home, the homework at work and then rest when at home. Dude. You get me, Jean. Or, let's that. You understand me. I thought Kristaf said that. Or Kristoff. All right, Villa, Acid Lakes. What maps do I want to run? Burial Chamber, that sounds not fun. The Dune sounds pretty good. In fact, I'll even elk it. Chain, ugh. Whatever. What you don't understand is, a lot of the jobs you can do homework at work and then rest when you're at home. But, uh, chances are you'll be working at home as well. It happens a lot, I'm just saying. 
It's not very unheard of. Why is, does the dunes look like the desert? Huh? And why is everything identified? Oh, are there sextants here? No. I don't know, whatever. Why are things identified? There must have been a sextant. And I just missed it. Oh my god, this is actually- Oh, why is that hurt? What the hell was that? Okay, I'm good. We're good. Some ghosts here. Nothing to worry about. It's cool. Oh my god. There's stuff everywhere. I don't even know what to pick up. I'll just mouse over it. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit items. And often enough, deadlines are made for you to work at an unrealistic rate. Yep. It's gotten to the point where I realize I just have to under-deliver. For the entire year. And then when performance reviews are coming up, like two months before performance reviews, I like bust my ass for two months. And then they're like, oh man. Like, he, he really... And then they kind of remember that. They're like, oh man, he did so much work. You've, you've done a real good job throughout the year, you know? You deliver what you were supposed to deliver. But in reality, you were under-delivering for the entire year. And then they had lowered their expectations. And then you pull out a curveball and you're like, holy shit. You're actually amazing. And they give you a raise. After the raise, you start under-delivering again. But then, if you do it often enough, they're like, okay, this is the new normal, right? Like, if you only work at, I don't know, like, one project per three months, and then for the last two months, you somehow, like, get two projects out, you become, like, a fucking rock star, man. Problem is when, you d when they want you to do even more. Yeah. Well, what happens a lot of times is, like... A lot of people, when they first start working, they take this... I don't want to sound especially jaded, because I'm not. But the common pattern, or what you have to realize is the work never stops, right? It, it really doesn't. Like, you're not a contract worker. The work never stops. So, when they're like, okay, we really need this stuff now. And you bust your ass doing it. They're like, okay. This has gotten, like, a lot of attention. People are loving what you did. But now they want more. And you're like, well... Like, I can't work that fast. I've been working, like, you know, 10 hours a day. And they're like, okay, yeah, well, I understand, but I'm just letting you know. You know, like, the upper executives or whatever. Like, they really want this shit. And you're like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Shouldn't have worked that fast. I guess there's a lot of insurance slash banking programming job in Toronto. Well, we do have, um... Uh, we do have a lot of banking over here. So, that is available. But yeah. Ooh! What? What killed me? What? What? I don't understand. Chain? The chain kill me? Well, good thing we're not playing hardcore anymore. What the hell was that? One chaos for some soul thingy. This? Soul duty? Yeah, okay. Really? 
replay tomorrow on YouTube? Yo, someone tell me what just happened. Because I don't know. Whatever, man. We'll figure it out. I'm going to I'm going to write this down. Hold on. I need a pen. Ugh. And uh Okay, what was the time? Uh Uh 35:30. Okay, I'm going to figure this out. I don't know what happened, but I'm going to have to go check it out. That was I'm, ass I'm I'm assuming that was uh, the chain. Like this is why you don't run chain on on these kinds of maps. But I'm not sure. Or it's just maybe there was chaos damage. I don't know. Fuck. Okay, whatever. What's done is done. Oh, I don't have any range weapons anymore. Alright, well, just animate some random weapons. Oh, here's one. There must be some here. Nope. Okay. That's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. Rip. Uh, Screaming Essence of Dread. Is that... Is that a purple essence? I don't think it is, right? Uh, let me see. Essence of Dread is... It is a purple essence. Okay, so I should be corrupting this thing. Alright, I'll come back to this, since uh, if I go back to town, I'm going to lose all of my weapons again. Um, so I'll just wait it out for a bit, and I'll come back. If I find any ranged weapons, I should definitely go and pick them up. My EK Nova character keeps dying, since I really need to try to go for speed. I went from 0 to 67 in two sittings. Holy crap, dude. That's really fast. All right, here we go. Hopefully we won't die again. That was... That was a little nuts, I th I'd say. It's like very unexpected. Or very expected. I think this is why you don't do chain maps. This is my, that's my opinion. I think that's what I died to. Otherwise I have, I don't know. I have to see. Eight hours or so. How long have I played this character? A day and an hour. I played this quite a bit. Wow, 25 hours. Okay, so there's that essence that I want to deal with. How do we do this? Let's go back to town. Um, get a remnant of corruption. I did find an essence of, what was it, insanity very recently, and I think it was off stream. So I'm actually one essence away from completing that challenge as well. I died to physical reflect mostly. Ah, yeah, that'll happen to you. Okay, so let's, let's see, how do we do this? Let's animate two range weapons and then everything else that's here. I need more mana. That's probably good enough. Oh, nope, didn't work. Okay, so basically the moment my ES is gone, things get very bad. Actually, things are already pretty bad. How do I do this? I need more weapons. And I need some zombies. Dude, let's not die to essences again. I'm not ready for that. Ooh. Okay, let's kill the golem first. That's my biggest concern. 
Oh my god, the bleed, it won't stop. Stop. They killed everything. So this is one downside of anime weapon, I guess, in that they really don't have much survivability. Ooh. Okay, we got him. All right, maybe summon a couple more zombies again. Summon my golem. They're not tanky at all, huh? Okay, well, at least we finished the map. Um, gonna call it an episode right here. 40 minutes. I gotta go see what I died to. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, as always, you could leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more updates in the future. Otherwise, keep in touch, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Uh, soon, soon.